Hey there everyone and welcome back to my Pokemon Platinum walkthrough as we are going to be heading toward Floraroma Town. Because we just gotta face some trainers here. Two Shinxes! But of course mine has the advantage considering I'm up more levels. So that means the first trainer has been taken care of. Oh, uh, but it's too bad because you didn't say no, so. Oh well. Now for the second one, a youngster. And he's splashing Magikarp. I still don't understand why they made Splash a move. The splash doesn't do anything, it has no effect, and it has no status damage. So I don't know why they considered that a move. And this is my next comment question to you guys. Which region do you think is bigger? Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, or Sinnoh? I'm not sure, but I think Hoenn is. But I don't know. But what do you guys think? And so now we have to face the third one. The last. I do have a uh, sort of a lot of work to do in order to get my Shinx and the rest of my team up to where my print club is, who's at level 17 at the moment. Yep, that's right, because I am the strongest Pokemon trainer. So you get a potion, and now we just have to break the rocks. Or the rock, anyway. One of them. And then once we exit out of here, then we will be back on Route 204. Right above, as you see, where we came out. Now we battle an aroma lady. Yeah, pretty good damage, Shinx. And another level, awesome! <coughs> now I'm gonna use my Starly for this one. My Starly's got some work to do as well. But it's probably a good thing that my print flip is level 8, uh, 17 right now. And you'll see the reason why I said that, as we have just a couple more battles. So I have a quite a bit of training for, the, for my others to catch up, but that's okay, that shouldn't take me too long. So yeah, so they'll eventually be caught up. And let me show off my Pokemon. And 
And all you have is a worm pole and a cricket tot, and I know that you're only going to use string shot with your worm pole. And that would be really slowing down the battle, so my Starly you'll have to deal with ya. Sometimes it's fun that I think to battle the beginning trainers first. Whereas the harder trainers, I don't know, they're... I just, it, it's hard to describe, but it's like the beginning trainers are, I don't know, more, maybe a little bit more fun to battle with. That's good, my Starly up another level, get it close to my Prinplup. As you see, my Abra and Psyduck have not even been trained yet, but that's okay, because they will be getting their training to get them uh, caught up to uh, my friend plump. And now we go into a double battle. And this is why I said it's, it's good that my friend plump is at level 17 because this, these girls love to use quick attack. And so it won't do very much damage to my friend plump. Just to get the maximum amount of damage, though, I'm gonna have to attack the same one. With both of my team. A little. On some of the turns to help get their HP down faster. Yeah, so you can see that they love use quick attack. Ah, Pachirisu almost went down. That's okay, it'll go down next turn. Or in fact, this turn right here. So the first one will go down, and now we just have the other one to take care of. So this shouldn't take as long with this one now that we have two Pokemon attacking it. So just one more turn left for the pa Pachirisu. Pachirisu, it goes down, and so now... I'm gonna go ahead, and there you go, finally my Shinx now has an electric move, which is what I was hoping for when I got it to level 13. Well guys, comment, subscribe, and thumbs up. Comment on that question, which region do you think is bigger? So part number 9 in my Pokemon Platinum walkthrough is the Valley Windworks. See you till then.